we are again. The National Football League playoffs. Third season in a row. And uh, honestly, I'm pretty shocked that I made it this far because honestly, this was a team, while threatening on paper, I just wasn't comfortable with it, I guess. I mean, I was super comfortable with Suicune. I mean, did you see the work that it put in this season? Second in the MVP race? As far as I'm aware, at least. But, uh, yeah, definitely thinking that I might want to work with Suicune in the future. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But, anyways, facing off once again with Matty Brock and the St. Louis Fresh Rams. Um, link will be in the description. And a really, really good friend of mine, I have to say. And probably one of the most influential people in the NPL, I have to say, honestly. But uh, last time we faced off with Matty, we got absolutely wrecked. Um, it was a 4 in his favor. Some hacks going on here and there. And honestly, I wasn't in the best of positions after that match, but... Now I've got my head screwed on straight, got my confidence back, and hoping to get a better match this time around. So, hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and let's get this show on the road. So, starting off, I'm going to be leading off with Heliolisk. He leads off with Gardevoir, and I just need to get off as much damage as I possibly can on this thing. I just go for a Volt Switch, go into Fortress, and I'm going to give a quick shout out here to Quick Bob Hero, who gave me the idea for this Fortress set. Um, I'm actually a self-vested fortress with enough attack power to, I think, Oko, um, Mega Gardevoir with Gyro Ball, and I think Infernape with Earthquake, but, uh, yeah, anyways, Hyper Voice happens, it does a pitiful amount, and here he goes for the, for the Protect, I think, prepping, I think that Protect prep was for Mega Lop Honey in case of high jump kicks and stuff. But now out comes Rotom. I'm just going to go straight for a Volt Switch here and head right back out in a Heliolisk because I can pretty much sponge whatever, um, whatchamacallit, um, hits this Rotom wants to deal with me. And that previous turn I see a Leftovers. So I'm thinking that this is a Fat Rotom. And this thing is Pack and Protect 2, probably for the Mega Low Punny. So, I just go go for the Dark Pulse here. Just to uh, kind of sort of bluff a choice set. Um, and Rotom just goes with Volt Switch. Mega Gardevoir comes out again. And here I just get this Mega Gardevoir with a Volt Switch. And go back out in the Fortress, who will take the Hyper Voice. And unfortunately, he's packing the HP fire, so I can't knock this thing out with a, um, whatchamacallit, a gyro ball. But now I can send out my Mega Low Pony. <laughs> Mega Gardevoir is weak enough. So I can just hit this thing up with a return and knock it straight out. And this is very fortunate for me. Um, Mega Gardevoir was a really big nuisance for the first match. And I was just fearing it this whole time during prep. Just, I could not switch in to a Mega Gardevoir's Pixelate Hyper Voice. Could not switch into that thing at all. My team is way too offensive for my liking, and yeah, <laughs> just the switchings did not exist. So having this thing gone pretty early, very much relieved, so. Still have to watch out for the Dragonite and the Infernape, but so far so good for me. I got rid of one of his big threats. So now out comes Excelgore, and I switched into Heliolisk here because I thought that this thing would probably final Gambit. But kind of a reckless situation on my end because Excelgore has quite the diverse move pool. Said move pool containing Focus Blast here, which fortunately for me he misses. And this actually comes into a pretty good chunk of play here. Um, despite the fact of me being Chapelberry Heliolisk. And I will explain that a wee bit later. But here I'm just going to go out into Suicune to instead focus blast. 
does a nice 24% to me, so I can just probably end up calm minding on whatever. <laughs> but out comes Rotom, and plus one Suicune, yep, easy. I can easily sponge that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for the skull, just try to get a burn on whatever. And here he gets a little bit of revenge axe and crits me with Bug Buzz. <laughs> as uh, I'm just gonna click Scald there, and since Excelgore come, goes down here, this is pretty much, I'm gonna explain how, why the Focus Blast Mist mattered. Um, he would have had a little bit of a better scouting of my set if I had gone straight to Suicune and set up a Calm Mind on this thing. Um, after sponging a Focus Blast, um, from there, he would have encored me into Calm Mind, which would have had my Suicune in a really big pickle. But I guess the Bug Buzz crit um, kind of balances things out. Um, but yeah, having my Suicune locked into Calm Mind would have just opened up so many doors for Maddie. It wouldn't. It would not have been funny. And I would have been in a really bad position if not for that fo focus blast missed or miss. But uh, tis the game of mods that we play. Hacks is hacks, and the uh, bug buzz crit pretty much bounces things out. So, uh, anyways, now it comes Infernape, and thanks to that crit, I am in range of a grass knot. Even that plus one can't even touch, can't even live it. So, yeah. Unfortunate, but the game is what it is, so I go for the energy ball expecting to switch into Dawn Fan. Takes two, so definitely um assault vested Dawn Fan. And I'm just gonna stack Zam here to get a nice little switch in a Mega Low Punny and try to take this thing on. Here he goes for the ice shard and I'm like, ah <laughs> uh, I just I could have subbed there. And I would have been in the best position ever. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. But I felt like he was just going to sack this thing off. Try to go for the earthquake. But, uh, I guess I could have just thought about this turn a little bit more. And, ah. Uh. If I had gone for a sub there, it's gonna be a mega low pony destruction city. Ah. Uh, but, alas, I go for the return, and we're tied 3 3, and here I reveal the sub, and I was just hoping that he would just willow us, but he goes to the Volt Twitch here, and unfortunately, it breaks my sub, and. If he had gone for Volt Switch there, back to the Dawn Fan play. I would have, I would have gotten it. I would have been behind the sub. Could have gone for Power Up Punch, gotten a plus one. Would have bopped some faces. Ugh. But I guess that's my fault for losing the 50-50. Pokemon is a game of luck and 50-50s. And overall, really fun game to play. But, yeah, that Volt Switch there pretty much, in my opinion, just sealed my fate. But, uh, I'm very happy to have made the playoffs. Um, very happy to have, uh, got my head on straight. And just, huh, felt much better about this match than the first one I I had against Maddie. I mean, I lost 2 0, but uh, it was still a really good game, and I'm actually very proud of how I came back this season. Pretty much the only regret that I had or have was um, just letting the anxiety get the best of me back in week two and kind of getting really frustrated, losing confidence in myself, and having to take that break. I would have really liked to play a full season, but 
I guess my, my anxiety just got the better of me, but it's great now that I'm very healthy, back, in its, back into the swing of things, and uh, the last four weeks that I played were very fun weeks. An unfortunate um, turn of events on Jolt. Um, pretty much if I had not axed him, I probably would have missed out in the playoffs. But again, like I said, this is the game of moms we play. Yeah, I just ended up getting a very fortunate crit with Rose Raid with the HP flying, and that pretty much effectively <laughs> took Jolt out of that game. Because it pre was pretty much Suicune Central from there. Until the Dragon Bull sprint, but eh. <laughs> what can you do? Uh, week 10 had a very fun, but albeit rushed match against Cheese. Um, rushed because I was going to lend my computer over to my cousin to draft his fantasy football team. Um, lost that one 2 0. Probably could have won with that to the Tyranitar crit, but I'm not complaining. Um, week 11, I probably could have saved Rose Raid. Could have made some smarter sacks in that game against Riz. But that game is what it is. Riz won fair and squared. Props to him. And then the main match with Danza. Yeah, that was pretty much the match where I just felt incredibly comfortable. That... If I were to miss out in the playoffs because I brought memes, then fine. So, uh, yeah. And uh, just I'd uh, like to give out a few thank yous. Um, I would like to thank Renee Colex and A Drive for pretty much giving me a little bit of a distraction from competitive Pokemon. Albeit I did kind of build some teams on the side, but... They pretty much gave me a new little activity to um, play Pokemon with. Or, I had Shiny Hunted before, but they kind of just gave me something to focus off of mods. So, big thank you to them for um, the help of getting my head screwed on straight. And just giving me a pretty nice time at their streams. Links will be in the description, description for them as well, but a lot of people on here are pretty much stuck to them and whatnot. And one more big, big thank you to my my opponent here, Matty Grolic, for giving me the suggestion of going on break. He, he knew that my health was pretty much top priority for me. Um, not to be selfish or anything, but he, he saw my anxiety, he suggested the break, and... While I regret not being there for the full season, I think the break was definitely just what I needed to get my head back on straight. And I'm very fortunate for that, so the biggest thank you ever for that, Matty. I really appreciate it, friend. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Rate, comment, sub, and I will see you guys in the National Pokeball League Season 6. Goodbye.